Michael, good morning. Good morning. The first question, because it's obvious, how did you get involved yeah. with this movie? Well, I got involved in Unlock because the script arrived at my table, as it were. Uh, I think it had been out there a bit. I know another director had started doing some early work on it, but uh, it had all fallen apart. And I read it and I liked it immediately. I, I thought, boy, this is a real page turner. This is, I really don't know what's going to happen next and all this. And I, it would seem to be able to do that right through to the end of the film. And so I said, yes, I'm really interested in doing this. And also I knew that Numi was attached to it at that point. And we met and we got on well. And I just, you know, I thought she brought a lot to it. You know, she, she can clearly do the physical stuff, which I think when you've got a woman playing the lead in an action film, you know, they, they better show that they can do it because otherwise it could be silly and she, she really could do it. And also, you know, she had a kind of emotional draw to it, which I liked. Tell me about Unlocked. Well, Unlocked is a terrifyingly contemporary film. I mean, you know, I started shooting it a couple of years ago and it's now even more frightening than it was two years ago. I mean, what it's about is so you know, up to date. It's not a film that it seems it's going to age. I mean, we hope it never happens, what we suggest might have happened in Unlocked, but it seems a very contemporary story and hasn't been overtaken by events. It's, and also, it's, you know, it's, it's not a big everybody gets blown up sort of stuff. I mean, it is about characters and about people, and, you know, it does take a hard look at the nuclear world we live in and how dangerous it is. Can you tell me about your approach to the material? Well, I think in my heart I'm a documentarian. Uh, I started out doing documentaries and although I've you know, done a lot of movies and narrative films, I always go back and do documentaries. And I think whenever I look at a subject, it's do I feel it's has some authenticity to it. I mean, it doesn't have to be a serious film. It could be a funny film, but does it feel authentic? And are there genuine emotions at work in the film between the characters? Or is there a space for me to generate that? Because that's what draws me to subjects, is when they've got some soul to them, not, not, not just snappy dialogue or fast-moving action. It's if there's some relationships at work here. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be anything, but as long as there's something going on in people's souls, which I, I felt there was in this. And so, you know, it was really up my alley, this thing. Can you tell me about the production process? Well, I mean, the big challenge was, was to cast it, first of all. Uh, Numi came, she was already on it. Mike, Michael was brought in by the producers, and we persuaded Orlando and John Malkovich and Tony to, to join in. I mean, they, they, you know, I think once we had Michael and Numi, then clearly this was going to be not an ordinary film. And you, s you spoke about terrorism, and unfortunately, the events in the movie could not be fictional no. one way or the I other. Know. How did that influence the way you approached Unlocked? Well, uh, in, in my documentary style, I wanted to make it look authentic the performance is authentic and also the action stuff are authentic. I didn't want it to just suddenly become something else, you know, like, you know, just something that's been overdone, been over thought out, to, you know, too much, too much violence, too much action or whatever. I wanted it all to, to feel that it was in a real world and I felt the characters were in a real world and so all the trappings around it had to be in the real world. The last question is about the, the cast. What can you tell me about the, the actors that you worked with? Well, I mean, they, they, were, they were great, and they, they seemed to get a sense of what I was after, which was, as I said, the emotion of the story rather than just the action of the story or the politics of the story. 